PALS stands for Patient Airlift Services. We are a volunteer pilot organization that flies patients to and from medical treatment when the costs of commercial transportation or the logistics with, of driving are just too much for a family to take on. Um, our primary coverage area is from Maine through Virginia and as far west as Ohio. We work with other organizations throughout the United States to reach further distances. Um, and we all kind of work together through the Air Care Alliance to cover the United States. Uh, recently we've had a flight for a nine-year-old with neuroblastoma. We provide a flight for him from Virginia Beach to New York City and back home. He travels with his mother. Most of the time he's in New York City for a pretty lengthy period of time. Uh, we've saved the family probably 10 to 11 hours in the, well, probably about nine to 10 hours of driving. Uh, and there's just no way that they could afford to go commercially as often as they travel uh, for two passengers at a time. Uh, in addition to the patient transport flights that we do, we'll also, because of the length of his hospitalizations, we'll often bring his father in for a weekend, try to reunite the family for a quick weekend. We feel that's all part of the healing process. Uh, he obviously, dad's at home trying to maintain his full-time employment, maintain health insurance for the family so that they can continue to get Wes's treatments in New York City. So our volunteers own and operate their own aircraft. Uh, they're usually small four and six seat planes. We do have some larger aircraft and some uh, small jets, but primarily our pilots are operating four seat, uh, single engine, Cessnas, Pipers, uh, small aircraft. It's uh, a little bit like a Volkswagen Beetle with wings. Uh, it's a neat way to travel, uh, especially for the younger passengers. It gives them that opportunity to sort of forget about all the scary things that they're about to go through or the things that they have gone through. And they just get to be in this small airplane and fly into a private airport and just get treated like a celebrity really for the, for the day. And it, it just helps to really take their mind off of what it is that they're going through. Um, the other benefit is that we can reach smaller airports uh, local to the family's home where they may need to typically drive an hour or more to access a commercial airport, uh, we can pick them up at a small airfield close to home, uh, which is a, a huge benefit uh, for the family. It's a big time saver. And then when we arrive at whatever city they're receiving treatment in, we also have volunteers that will provide ground transportation. We call them autopilots. And they'll help to transport the family from the airport to their medical facility and then back to the airport to fly home with their pilots. We feel like we haven't truly done our job if we leave them at an airport and they're faced with in a, you know, a cab fare or a car service or something like that. Uh, they're in a strange city they've never been to. They're going through enough stress, so if we can help to alleviate that stress and that cost burden, then that's what we want to do.